Hi, Hi. Hi. about to open up a new account because all these people hold on let me put you on mute because all these people got my like account information oh thank you but all these people got my account information and i'm just it's too much hello i'm gonna call you back mm -hmm. okay hey how are you doing Dickens? yes ma'am oh you know me oh you do oh Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I haven't talked to you before. I well, yeah. You before. I didn't think you would remember. That was like a lot. I remember you from the other one. So, can, can y'all even see me right now? Like, seriously see me? So, um, I currently just left bb and had to walk here, y'all. Y'all, I haven't walked in, like, since 2006. I haven't walked in, like, almost over. Can y'all see me? I feel like the light, yes, the light is back here. Yes. So, right now, I'm leaving bb and I'm about to walk back home. It's like a 10-minute walk. It's not that far. I really was being dramatic. Can y'all see me? This is bothering me so because the light is back here. Oh, I don't think y'all can see me. Hold on. I hope y'all can see me a little better now because I'm facing this way. But if you can't, oh well, you can hear me talk. But right now I am going, I'm about to get on this side of the road. Because right now I am currently on my way back home. I just left bb and because if y'all don't know, like y'all know how y'all sign up for stuff and you forget. And like they kept taking money out of my account. I'm like, I'm trying to save money right now for my lawyer for going to court. But I'm like, I can't save anything if y'all continue taking money out of my account. So just to stop all of that, what I did was I just basically um made a whole new account. I'm not giving my information to nothing, not no Netflix, not no gym membership, none of that bull crap. I ain't doing none of that, none, nah, no. So, um, whew, excuse me. Right, y'all, it feels so good. I think it's like 47 or 50 degrees, and it feels so freaking good, y'all. It feels so good out here. It makes me just wanna, makes you feel all bubbly inside. Oh, God, y'all, it feels so good out here. And y'all, have y'all ever like, Right now, like, I've been saying hey to everybody, and it makes me feel, like, kind of, like, good, and they speaking to me back, and then you got those people that just look at you like you're crazy, like, who are you talking to, like, you know, are you talking to me, like, or they just look at you like, hey, and you got those other people that you wave at them, hey, and they be like, hey, I like people like that. Y'all, if y'all haven't came outside yet, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm in such a good mood, if y'all have not came outside yet, <sighs> Y'all need to get y'all some of this fresh air. It feels so good out here, y'all. It feels so freaking good. And you guys, I am trying. I know I'm all over the place. I got a lot to tell y'all because a lot has happened from today, from yesterday. But um, right now, I'm applying for a sub being a substitute teacher. And I have to get tested for tuberculosis. I know y'all probably looking at me like, duh, but I didn't know that. So now I have to set up a doctor's appointment to get tested for freaking tuberculosis. It's crazy. That's why I said I need me a doctor in Virginia. Because since I've been down here for the four years I've been down here, I, don't, I haven't yet to sign up for a doctor. So that's what I'm doing. When I, as soon as I get home, as soon as I touch base on that floor, I'm calling these doctor people. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. I hope today's a good day for y'all. Hope y'all are out here smelling this fresh air, getting this nice wind and etc. Because it do feel good out here, you guys. It feels very good. I'm already halfway home on my street right now. Well, I'm not literally on my street. I have like a few, about 100 feet to go before I get to my street. But I'm going to cut the camera off whenever I get there because I ain't got time. So let me get on this side of the road. <gasps> and guess what, you guys? I beat my record for um yesterday about um 
uploading a vlog or not a vlog a video every day i haven't done it more than three days in a row but yesterday made my fourth day and this vlog will make my fifth so it's like yes you guys yes hold on a car is coming you guys i'm trying to beat it But y'all, I'm gonna put this camera down. I'm gonna call you. I'm not call y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all whenever I get home. Hope you guys are having a good day. And I will see y'all in okay. a minute. And basically, it was saying she was the first female to do it. And Beyonce hasn't even done it. And blah, 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 blah. And now it's a problem because it's Beyonce. But when it was Nikki, it was all let her get her shine let her do her um what else did they say they was let her do her let her get her shine nikki's played out cardi took her throne this and the third but now it's beyonce it's a problem like this has been going on for a long time to where um um people were feeling that cardi this is my this is what i've been saying that people feel that cardi b doesn't deserve a lot of things that she do and she's only put out a few features and when her one of her songs only got billboard top like one on bodak yellow was the only song to hit number one on the billboard and all she did was a bunch of features and you know a lot of people were saying that's all Nicki minaj do blah 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 but i'm like Nicki minaj has a lot of hit songs that she was on by herself you got super bass pills and potions you got starships um um i was gonna say bees in a trap but that's not a one song itty bitty piggy even though that was, that was like uh um what was it like a little mixtape song or whatever it was still like it's a big song to this day um and there was no feature artist but all of a sudden it just really bothers me when it's Beyonce and everybody now everybody else want to speak up but like when it was Nikki it was like it was cool they was everybody was cool with it. everybody was you know everybody was clowning Nikki like yeah she took your spot Cardi's better than you and I'm just like how dare you compare two different people like they're in the they're both female rappers but they're two totally different people that's something that you can't do you you can't compare them and you will not compare them I don't care who you are you just won't compare them um but I just feel like Beyonce does have a bigger fan base than Nicki. Don't get me wrong, her people are more loyal, but it takes something like this for them to real like I just don't understand. Don't get me, I'm not saying I'm a huge Cardi B fan. I'm not saying it's wrong, they're doing it in the wrong way or blah blah blah. But a lot of people were saying that they're just handing her stuff, like they're handing her things. And y'all, I love once again, I love Cardi B, but don't get me wrong. I honestly feel like they're they're doing this out of spite. I feel like they're doing a lot of things out of spite. Like they're just like the same day Cardi B, she had like I don't know if she had three songs on the top ten. It was the same day that Super Bass had went diamond, and nobody approached. It was, it was all about Cardi B, you know. Just then, don't get me wrong. Nicki has had her shine, but at the end of the day award her for that don't sit here and act like she hasn't done nothing for the game like don't act like she hasn't inspired people because she has cardi b probably has inspired people too but you gotta understand nikki has put in the work and then people are trying to like you know basically they're trying to they can't pick a side like you know every time a new artist come out if y'all want Nicki minaj out so bad why every single new artist that come out y'all comparing them to nikki or you trying to make them to be like nikki like if you want Nikki out so bad, then when somebody new come along, you shouldn't be comparing them to Nikki. They're, Nikki shouldn't even be in the conversation. It should be like uh, somebody new, like, but you always want to compare them to Nikki. Why? Tell me why. Why? Give me one reason why that y'all compare every almost 98% of female artists, y'all compare them to Nicki Minaj. Because Nikki, she has that taste. She has a taste of everything. Switching her flow. She done switched her style. She can go from classy to dressing like God knows what. She's rocking inches. She can rock a, rock a afro. She can rock 30 different colors and pull it off. She can switch her flow. She can sing. She can rap. She can speak Spanish, Dominican. She can be on. She's had so many features. They're like 200, almost 200 features. Like, come. <sighs> 200, I'm sorry, 200 songs, don't give me, don't, and I think they said like 94, 96 of them was features, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, I read some about it where they was like, Nicki Minaj has almost 200 songs, and 94% of them are features, because a lot of people say all of Nicki Minaj's songs are features, but not even half of them, not even half her songs are like, that's what Nicki is known for, but at the end of the day, it's like, 
she's done more. She's done more than features. And back to what I was saying, you guys, it shouldn't take be a Beyonce, her being built. Like, while all of a sudden now she's so called, she's beat, she's done something that Beyonce hasn't done, that it's a problem now. But when it was Nikki, it was all, oh, no, you know, come on, y'all, let's. Let's tighten up. Let's get real, y'all. But, y'all, I just got back home. I'm about to call the um doctor. I just had to get it off my chest. I'm about to make a video for Instagram, too. But that's about it, y'all. Um, I'm about to call my doctor, see what... Not my doctor, but a doctor, and see what's going on. And I will see y'all in my next clip. I'm about to end this vlog very soon. But I will see y'all in my next Rejoice clip. in the Lord again. I say rejoice, everybody rejoice. So y'all, what's up? I'm back. Um, I'm about to undress and get undressed and put on some balling shorts and change my boxers because these are way too tight. And I'm about to go to sleep, y'all, because I literally, I li well, for money. It's, it's a twenty in here. It's a twenty. Uh, it's two tens actually. But um. I literally woke, um, I went to bed at 11 because I had a headache and I woke back up at 1 o'clock and I didn't go to bed at like 6.30 and then I woke up at like 11 something because I had to handle some business, y'all know I went to the bank and then I did an application for substitute teacher and come to find out you gotta get tested for tuberculosis if you want to be a substitute teacher. So I got an appointment Tuesday at 11 o'clock to get tested for whatever I need to get tested for and um... That's about it. I, the application is done. I just need this here to get tested for tuberculosis. Um, that's about it. And just to let y'all know my last clip that I was talking about the Cardi B and Beyonce situation. I don't want my whole vlog to be about this, but you know. Let y'all know. I'm a big Beyonce fan. I love Beyonce to death. Beyonce know that I love her because we just had dinner last night. And we was talking about, you know, collaborating and things like that. She will be on my channel. So I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. But I love both of them. I love Cardi B. Cardi B has done magnificent, great things. And, you know, only my real true fans will get my point of what I'm saying. Not saying, like, you know, Cardi B hasn't done anything. But at the same time, it's like... Why does it take Beyonce for people to say? Not saying like it's nothing wrong. Like it's nothing wrong with being Beyonce. Like being greater than her or doing things better than whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, like it's like why all of a sudden when it's Beyonce, everybody want to say something. Like you know, it's, that's my only concern about it. I love both of them. I wish them nothing but the best. We all know who I stand for. Onika Tanya Mirage. Hey, 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 I hurt my toe, I hurt my toe. But you guys, that's it. I hope this vlog is long enough for y'all. It's probably about 15 to 20 minutes for y'all. I'm about to go ahead and um, get undressed now and put on some what I said I was about to put on and go to sleep to about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Because I, I just realized I always end my vlogs around 6 o'clock. It's 5.22 right now. But that's it for today, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying these everyday vlogs. Day 5. Day 5. Tomorrow be day 6. So, peace out, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the support. I love you guys. All of my fans, all of my supporters, all my subscribers. Peace out, you guys. Hope you guys had a good day. Bye. Bye. Life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I said, I like you can have a great life, I